The word obsession encompasses the mindset of everyone at Mossy Oak. We obsess over hiding from, chasing, and conserving the critters we pursue. In this episode, we follow Mossy Oak's own Walt Gabbard, world turkey calling champion Josh Grossenbacher, as they reunite at Walt's farm to chase Kentucky Thunder. This is The Obsessed. Kentucky. Kentucky and turkeys. They go together like peanut butter and jelly. I mean, it's hard for me to think of one without thinking of the other. I was fortunate enough to, I grew up here, was raised here, I had to move away. I got to come back last year. And uh, being able to turkey hunt here in these mountains, in my own dirt, uh, there's literally nothing like it in the entire world. The Eastern Wild Turkey in the state of Kentucky is probably uh, by far my favorite subspecies to hunt and it's one of my favorite states to hunt just because I've been hunting down here a long time and the turkeys down here in this terrain it's a lot, a lot more rougher, a little bit steeper mountains in most places and the turkeys seem to gobble real hard when you call to them. Of all the subspecies, the Eastern Wild Turkey there's just something about them. They're freaking ferocious. I don't know how else to explain it. You know, they have such a resonance about it. When they gobble in these mountains and it just echoes up these hollows, uh, it does, it, it's like going to church, man. It cleanses your soul. So this year I was fortunate enough uh, to be able to invite one of my best buddies in the whole world down, Josh Grossenbacher, uh, best turkey caller, best turkey hunter I've ever stepped in the woods with. And uh, we, we lived together, worked together, and traveled the country together turkey hunting for eight, nine years. We've got a ton of history up there and we've killed a lot of gobblers together. To, to be going back up there this year for the first time in a couple years, I'm pretty excited. This morning it was it just felt right you know you walk outside and sometimes you can just feel it all in your body that the turkeys are going to gobble something's going to die and that was the feel well we got up to the farm there you know before well before daylight and kind of slipping around waiting for one to gobble and finally uh, turkey starts gobbling back on the other end out towards the east of the east side of the property so we started slipping up through there and actually the closer we're getting to him, we realized, man, this turkey's on the ground and uh, he, could, he could be in the field at any time, so. This turkey turns and walks directly at us. This turkey got so close, it could not have, it couldn't have been five yards down Josh's feet. You know, in a situation like that, you absolutely have to trust your camouflage.
reminiscing, we're looking up on the hill and we're 200 yards from where we killed our first double on camera. The first year we filmed turkeys and we're talking about it and all of a sudden the turkey gobble was in the field and another turkey gobble was in the field. So we quickly make a plan and I've been seeing three longbeards out in the middle of this field and uh, they've been very subdominant. They hadn't been strutting a lot. Uh, the other gobblers have been kind of spooking them. So we jerked the Jake decoy out, put a hen decoy down. You know, me and Josh were sitting there cutting up like the old days with two turkeys dead. I mean, it just doesn't get any better. I'm fortunate enough to have a job in the hunting industry with Zinc Calls and Avian X where I get to build turkey calls. Being a competitive turkey caller, I'm constantly trying to sound more and more like a turkey the best I can and preparing for next turkey season. It's just something that I'm completely consumed with turkey hunting and turkey calling. It's part of who I am, I love it. I don't know what I'd do without it. To me, that is, it's the ultimate obsession of who I am. So this series, The Obsessed, we ask people the question, what does obsession mean to you? What does the obsessed mean to you? What's it mean to be obsessed? You know, and you, you get a different answer every time you ask somebody the question. There's no wrong answer. You know, I think about, uh, what does it mean to me? I'm truly obsessed over my entire life. I'm obsessed over hunting, especially turkey hunting. It's my favorite thing in the entire world to do. I'm obsessed over the fact that I work for Mossy Oak, a company that allows me and feeds that obsession for me on a daily basis. I get to think about it all the time. I have a wife that understands the obsession and shares it with me too. She loves to hunt just as much as I do. I've got two boys, the four-year-old, Boone. He's already getting it too. I mean, he's going to turkey hunt with me twice. That's all he all you've been able to talk about, you know, rolling out of bed at four o'clock to go with dad turkey on. And that means so much to me, you know, to share that with him, my family, and everybody at Mossy Oak. I'm Walt Gabbard, and I'm obsessed. I'm Josh Grossenbacher, and I am obsessed.